up, my Illuminati? Fat chicken time, yo. You know how we do. And other stuff. That doesn't really have any meaning as stuff, things, sentences are difficult. So, hi! We're gonna be playing this fat chicken, which is a sour defense game, but with chickens and pigs and cows. Yeah! It's gonna explain to us how we gotta make some uh, antibiotics towers because these things will get your animals all sick and you gotta get them to the slaughterhouse, which is not something I particularly would endorse since I am not one of those people who enjoys eating the flesh of dead things, dead creatures that used to be alive and walking around and doing all that stuff. Um, I gotta make sure that I got the sequence for it right. I think I... Because I tried this earlier and... See, this is a very long road that they have to go through. Those pigs will come out and you'll have to feed them, keep them healthy, keep them uh, hydrated, etc, etc, until they're right here. So right now, I'm building something to fatten them up, then something to feed them, something to give them water, something to heal them from the fog thing, then I'll fatten them up again, I think, feed them again, water again, again, fatten them up, kind of just repeat that process over and over there, and then make sure that they're healed up, I think that'll do it. And then we'll start the wave, they'll come out here, and then later on we will receive another track. Here there will be cows coming out. Okay. We can start the first wave on maximum. Normally I just kind of let it roll. There's several camera, well there's two camera. Just like that, and like that. Personally, I'm more of a fan like that. There. Pigs are getting healed because they're all sick. They're getting fed. They're getting hydrated because they were starving. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. And they should make it. They won't make it very well, the first wave. We'll kind of get there. A little sick. Oh, this one didn't get treatment. That's unfortunate. That'll be just out of range as well, I think. Because there's these carriers. There you go. Yeah, you fell just out of range. And those carriers, if um, they come... In the vicinity, oh, could have gotten them, but just too late. Now they'll try and carry upwards to where that white circle is. Um, oh no, there's more stuff coming in. Well, we've pretty much handled what we could. Maybe upgrade a few things. We'll see, we'll take this one a bit slower. So how do you win the game of Fat Chicken is that you have to meet a certain quota by the time your waves are done. Should be doable normally. Um, I'll probably have to upgrade these once I get more money. Oh, there's only three pigs? I take it that other thing will open up. Okay, we can... Three pigs is not really that much. We can kind of speed that up. There we go. They're getting pretty fat and stuff. Um, let's see. Is this an upgraded one? Did I upgrade anyone? Yeah. So, I can move around these things instead of always building another one. And they'll pack up and... So instead of just wasting a lot of money on... Um, ...building new efforts all the time, you can save a little money, of course you'll have to put them back. And uh, you'll waste a little money like that as well, but it is still more cost effective than it was before. There we go, and they should arrive a little fatter than they were. Which gives me more money, of course, to... ...build even more crap.
Mmm. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Next wave. Is that cow pasture thing opening up anytime soon? I kind of don't want to spend too much money since... There we go, yeah. If the cow pasture opens up, I kind of want to save it to make sure that I have enough money to do that. So they're going to come over here and that's going to keep them hydrated for a while. Mm. Hydrated, hydrated. They're probably going to need to be fed around here we'll be doing that discovery together oh no that dude didn't get any food he's gonna die well he's just gonna die that's just gonna, gonna happen bad tower well that's livestock we lost um choo -choo 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 -choo. Okay, we gotta make sure that there's an antibiotic station right there. We can't go around that. Then we got 72 more, plus whatever they'll be bringing in. That should give us enough to kind of make sure those cows get there in proper conditions. Have some antibiotics, yo. Wow, that zoomed in really damn close. Okay. Also, it zooms out real damn far. That's a good. That's a good thing. They didn't. They didn't actually. Oh, well, they'll get their next wave. Then I guess. Good, good. That means we got a bunch of cash. I am going to upgrade this one then, and this one as well. We'll have 66 bucks left to finance our cows. They might want to just... Oh, a little more. Alright, that seems good. We are almost at one star, which is good, because we still got plenty of waves to go. Of course, it's gonna rank up the pounds. Um, you can also get more farmhands, for instance, like these dudes right there. But also you can put um, a cattle prod at each station, which will jab your little animals and will get them to where they need to go faster. But of course, it's bad for their health. You can't just prod things. Oof. These dudes are gonna go really slow, that cow. Um, it's probably gonna need something before it gets there. We'll have to keep monitoring that. That kind of just doing his job as it should. But just to be safe though. That again. Oh, that tower goes for both ways. That is pretty handy. That is pretty cool, and I definitely want to upgrade that one so it gets a little bit of a bigger range. Um, what are your needs, cow? go we need some water get that cow some water there we go 
We're gonna move that around for the next wave, though. Get it some water a bit earlier than that. It didn't get a lot, but it should get some here, right there, as it crosses that lake. There we go. That's a good, solid basis. We're gonna put a cattle prod here. Upgrade it. Get the dudes moving down the line here as well. Get those little dudes moving. Yeah, just to be safe. There we go, that's some nice fat cows. Okay, this one got some extra food this time, good. Go, go, go. Everyone's still doing well. Oh yeah, I forgot to upgrade this one a little bit more ideal since it hits both lanes. Everyone's still pretty fat. That's nice. I could use a little more food around here. They definitely got enough once they're there, though. Well, then maybe not, because you can also overfeed them. Um, ooh, there I go. I still have four more waves to go and already hit three stars. So, maybe instead I'll build another one of those. Oh, is there no UFO in this one? There is no UFO in this one. Normally, they, those can show up and try and steal your livestock. Because aliens, that's what they do. Um, now he's gonna zap him and he's gonna move down the line a little bit quicker. Oh yeah, definitely want to upgrade this one. Maybe not that one as well then. Um, for that whole overfeeding thing I just said. Maybe upgrade these so they're a bit more effective. These one as well, they'll probably increase their range along with an upgrade. Aw, my cow's all sad and small. Only two little pigs? I hope, nope. Shh. If any one of them would have died, it probably would have still been on the track. There we go, there's definitely enough food to last them for a while. Although I don't think it works like that, you can just overfeed them and they just have a meter. It gets full. upgrade him a third time. I think that's a new thing I did. With the uh, stars you collect you can gain more upgrades. There he gets a little more anti-biotic, that's nice. Although you can probably not do that too often either. gonna get myself... Oh, there we go. That dude was overfed. Aren't those dudes supposed to act? Bam! Yep, there's one too many down the chain here. Um, 
Oof, oof. The problem is, it seems kind of long to keep them waiting from there to there. Oh yeah, but there they get fed a little by that one. So I'm just gonna upgrade this one and then sell that guy. There we go. Instead, I'll move this one around. I probably want to hit it before I hit the little feeding station. Oh no, I lost a star! Probably because I lost too much livestock. Too many dudes blew up! Oh, you got a little baby. Little, little baby cow. Okay, let's see how that... There we go. Oof. Little baby cow had to be fed earlier. Forgot about that. Okay, gotta be wary now, because they got hit with cattle prods twice. Oh, it's just one piglet. So their health is kind of poor, means they can get overfed easily as well. Mm, seems they're more resilient now. Boop. Well, we definitely got the poundage, it's just we exploded a few too many people. People? Animals. Animals and people too? Well, no, technically. People are animals too, not the other way around. Okay, final wave. Nope, still one more after that. Well, I think we've got it down to a craft, right? What else can happen? Except maybe a baby appearing here or there. This time I gotta remember to move around some stuff so I can feed them though. Other than that, I think we're done here. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. As fat as they can be. Bump, bump. One more wave. Everyone is antsy. <laughs> one cow, one pig. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Eat it. Eat the food. Look at all the attention they're getting. Boom! Yeah! A million bucks! Yep, we lost just a little too much. Nothing I can do about that. Well, there's something I can do about that, but I didn't. Oh, We got 42 nuggets of gold. Yeehaw! That you can use for these, you can hire heroes of different makes. And they have special abilities, and of course they come with their own sets of downfalls. Um, the stars that you win during levels you can use for these. You can upgrade a bunch of stuff to your towers, your animals, your farmhands. The antibiotics tower. I might upgrade the antibiotics tower now that I have them. There we go. Um, yeah, rate of fire as well. Might as well, since they do seem to miss out on a few. Boom! Fat chicken! That's how it works. Tower defense. It has a nice theme to it. I can't say it's the most revolutionary tower defense game in the world. It's, it's not really my favorite genre in the first place, so... But it tries this whole quirky idea of... Blending in subtle morality. Oh, don't overfeed and just cruelty and blah blah. You know how that goes. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. And if you do, hit the button right now. Comment suggestions. They're also welcome. Liking and boosting the video up whenever you can this is super cool too. It would be nice. Yeah. See you again some other time. Thanks. Bye.